depth first search is so named because it goes as deep as possible in the search tree before backing up and considering other options. In contrast, breadth first search will look at all nodes at a given depth in the search tree before considering any nodes beneath that point. Let's demonstrate this by example. This is the same maze from the previous video, and our goal is to get from the start state to the goal state. Now, as before, I will maintain a search tree of the nodes we have checked. We will start with the start node as the root and go from there. Now, as before, we will check successors in the order down, right, up, left. Now, from the first few states, there isn't going to be much difference from depth first search. There's only one option from the start, and so it will be the first node we check. And I'll add that to the tree as well. And that is also true at the next state and at the next state. We have one, two, and three. Now here's where things begin to differ slightly. There are two reachable nodes from three. Both of those nodes will be at the same depth in this search tree. Before searching either of them, I will add them, or rather, I will label numbers indicating the order I intend to search them. So from this position, down will lead us here. Therefore, that will be the fourth position I check. Then going right will lead us here. So that will be the fifth position I check. This position is one I've already checked, so I will not add it again. And going to the left is not possible. So now, having planned the order I will search these nodes, I will then actually search them. Check four, add it to the tree, and then I check five, and add it to the tree. Now at the time when a node is actually searched, that is when I will number all of its successor states, indicating the order I plan to search those nodes. Node four has no successors, but five will have three of them. Down, right, then up. Going down would lead me to the sixth node I will check. Going right will lead me to the seventh. And going up will lead me to the eighth. I don't go left because I've already checked that position. And now, having planned out the order in which I will search these nodes, I actually search them. When I search node six, I add it to the tree and then add numbers for its successors. Its successor is here. That will be the ninth node I search. Now from six, I go to seven. And then I add it to the tree. It has no successors so I don't need to add any additional numbers. Next, I check node eight, add it to the tree, and it does have one successor, which will be the 10th node I search. Notice that I searched all the nodes at this depth of the tree, and only now will I consider nodes that are deeper. From six, I can get to nine, And nine has a successor, which will be the 11th node I check. From eight, I can get to 10. And 10 has a successor, which will be the 12th node I check. Once again, notice that I look at all nodes of a given depth before doing any nodes deeper down. From 11, which I will add here, 
I can reach the next one, which will be 13. 12 is reached 10. And its successor will be 14. Then I actually search node 13. And having searched node 13, I note that its successor will be the 15th node I check. Then I search node 14. And note that its successor will be the 16th node I check. Now from 15, I have down being a place I've already checked, right being impossible, up will lead me to the 17th node I will check, and left will be the 18th node I will check. Remember, I have to look at all successors of this state, in particular because the computer doesn't know which of these paths will lead to the goal. Now having actually searched node 15, node 13 leads to 15, I then actually search node 16, and I'm gonna angle this up to make sure I can keep this all in the frames. And when I search 16, I add its successor, it will be the 19th node I check. And now I have to go in this order. So I check node 17. That's reachable from node 15. And its successors in order, nothing, or I've already visited down, can't go right. Up will be 20th and left will be the 21st and now I check node 18 which is also reachable from 15 and then I go to 19 from 16 Now clearly, the state I will visit from 19 is the goal state, but I have to go through these in order. It would actually plan to visit this node next, but because I will have already visited this node from 17, before visiting it from here, I don't add it to the list. But searching the goal will happen after 21 is checked. Now from 17, I have to check, check number 20. And this node here would be queued up to be searched, but using our sort of outsider knowledge, we know that the goal has already been queued up to be searched. So I'm gonna simply not put a number here because we'll never get to it. Then 17 will search 21. And it has this node as a, as a successor, which we'll never get to. And this one we've already checked. Now, finally, from 19, we will go, go to the goal right there, and now we are done. So notice that this search algorithm found a different path than depth first search did. It goes through this route here, which is actually the shortest path. And breadth first search will always find the shortest path, which is here. 
and when it's done, that's what it returns. This path from start to goal. 